and uh, in the purpose of balanced view is so that we can all get to know the true nature of our mind and get to know our beneficial potency as human beings in each and every moment and that comes through education in the nature of mind and um, and getting to know that everything we experience is the surge and burst of beneficial potency of mind, of intelligence and nothing else. And really that wasn't what I'd learnt about myself. I'd learnt many things about myself and what it was to be human and what it was to experience and what I should and shouldn't experience and what it meant when I experienced certain things, good things or bad things. And. Uh, constantly trying to understand myself and understand my experience through labeling and describing. And then I was came, I met the Balance View training and was introduced to open intelligence. And we can all directly introduce ourselves right now if we just stop thinking for a moment. What remains? A brightness and alertness and intelligence that we can always identify is always on, always present. So we can return to that recognition whenever we naturally remember to for short moments. We return to the nature of mind. Not needing to describe it, not needing it to look any certain way. Letting it be whatever it is in that moment. Whatever the content, whatever the descriptions, whatever the feelings, whatever the data streams are, we let them be as they are. We see that data streams and the intelligence, power to know, are inseparable like the colour blue and the sky. That our data streams, our thoughts, emotions and experiences are dynamic energy of open intelligence. Dynamic like the breeze in the air is inseparable. Data and open intelligence inseparable. And in short moments we just settle into the recognition of this great intelligence that's always on, that contains everything, that knows everything. Knows everything. That's the power to know. It knows everything. Everything that's, that's being experienced, open intelligence knows. Knows it from within, knows it as its own. Not needing all of the descriptions and definitions that we've placed upon the world in order to understand in each short moment, that's the immediate benefit I saw. So short moments is the first practice of the four mainstays, which is the support system of balance view. Short moments of just letting everything be as it is, letting the current data stream be as it is, the thought, emotion, no matter what it is. Let it arise, flower and resolve, like a line drawn in water, do nothing with it. And in that, like I said in the video, we see for ourselves that in the moment of self-release, benefit remains. That is our nature, that is the nature of mind. And we find that out for ourselves, I found that out for myself, increasingly a forever ongoing discovery of beneficial potency. Of realizing that I instinctively know what to do, what to say, to be of benefit. And that was not what I'd learned about myself. I learned that I had to work hard. I had to effort in order to be a certain way, to experience certain things, to be a good person, to achieve, to be acknowledged, to be loved, to be liked. And um, in order to then just be okay. That was like, that, that's amazing, isn't it? That was like the, uh, the benchmark, to be okay to feel like I was all right in the world and was confident. And now I realize with short moments of open intelligence and participating in the four mainstays that in each and every moment I know what to do and what to say. That's, we are beneficial potency. Everything that's occurring. And so we just become acquainted with that in our own experience rather than emphasizing old ideas about what it is to be human, old belief systems. We just let everything be as it is and directly experience everything fresh and new and ourselves fresh and new and get to know ourselves. And that's what the Four Mainstays will empower and support completely in us. Get to know what it is to be 
naturally and optimally alive, like not adhering to any belief systems, directly experience everything as it is, and then learn for ourselves what it is to be human. It's so exciting, and this is happening all over the world, people making this choice. And we have trainings which we can participate in where we look very cl closely and carefully and naturally at, at our data streams share them in a very open way and see how connected we all are as humans. And also seeing that all data are inseparable from open intelligence. We can check it out right now, no matter what is occurring, no matter what is coming up. Notice open intelligence, your power to know, only known through your power to know. So we settle in the power to know, recognizing that moment to moment, letting the data flow powerfully as they do we inseparable from that flow of powerful data, not looking in on it, we inseparable from it. And then just seeing for ourselves how things open up. And, um, and we just take this to all data streams, so it's physical pain included, relaxing right there, letting it be as it is, seeing it's inseparable from open intelligence, not outside of. And, uh, it's such an amazing training ground that every single data stream that comes up for us, every experience is our perfect opportunity, perfect for us to recognize open intelligence, the power to know. And, um, and I just see for myself in that simple recognition, the great potency that opens up, the stability, the confidence, like a confidence, like unlike any confidence, not a cultivated confidence dependent on circumstances and being liked and feeling okay in myself due to data streams, like having the data stream, I'm feeling confident today. You know that one? Everything's okay. But actually directly experiencing stability, even in the midst of raging anxiety, noticing the power to know, open, clear, bright, stable, always on, experiencing anxiety inseparably. That's where we go for our stability. And that's where we're supported to go by the Four Mainstays. Hanging out in the Four Mainstays, this recognition comes about unavoidably. It's the natural recognition. It is what we are, is who we are. So it's very simple to simply relax as we are and it becomes clearer and clearer in our own experience and hanging out with other people becomes clearer and clearer in our own experience. And we see the results and the benefits very directly. Being able to get along with each other. People taking, people letting their data streams be as they are, not acting on every thought and impulse that comes up, but really seeing stability and openness for ourselves and then seeing the results. Powerful community, loving community, respectful community infused with gratitude and we just get used to it in the four mainstays and see that we can role model that in our lives no matter where we are no matter what we're doing and um, I just saw for myself that open intelligence is completely committed to me so it's an effortless commitment Every single time I check in, there it is, bam. So where else to go? What else to do apart from train this up? Like, it's so important for the world right now to know that we are beneficial potency and nothing else. To let ourselves, our data streams be as they are and get to know this great power that we have. And so even if, you know, of course, along the way of uh, gaining confidence, all data come up. Everything, everything comes up of like wanting to be, wanting to be here to having resistance, like everything in, in between. But we just, that's our opportunity, the perfect data in this time, place, circumstance for the result of benefit. We test it out, test it out, letting that data stream be as it is. No longer being a victim to it, but seeing for ourselves what's really going on. So resistant, resistance comes up. Let it be as it is, do not describe it, let it flow on by, let it expand as open intelligence and see for ourselves what we actually want to do. I mean, that's true choice and empowerment right there. No longer li living under the whim of every single thought, emotion and impulse, but seeing very powerfully from openness, 
what it is I want. And then I just saw, like, training up an open intelligence became my priority effortlessly and in every single moment, like every single moment, unavoidably, irresistibly wanting to know the beneficial potency. You know, that no longer wanting to just be a victim, wanting to be powerful. So data streams that had always caused me li ri deep limitation, like feeling not liked, uh, fear of not being liked, fear of speaking up, not wanting to be, um, or fear of not being included, all of these things, just letting those be as they are. Noticing open intelligence right there, seeing that nothing limits me, nothing limits any of us. Rooting ourselves in our comprehensive, fundamental identity as open intelligence. Letting all data be the great fuel of benefit that they are. That's all that's going on is benefit. And we can't think our way into that. We directly experience it moment to moment. And then, really, the four mainstays, a generous offering there to empower us. Anybody who is interested, anybody who is open, at whatever pace it is and however it looks for them, can empower themselves in the nature of their own mind as open intelligence. So really, it's up to each of us and we can just choose. But it's very powerful to let those data streams be as they are about, um, you know, whatever it is, but commitment as well and what things need to look like and to stop describing right there and just notice our great commitment instinctively to open intelligence to benefit inseparable from us as our very nature. So um, it's powerful to let all frameworks just dissolve like mist in the air and let ourselves come fresh and new to each moment and discover for ourselves what's going on. But I saw very directly that when I use the four mainstays, benefit. When I use the four mainstays, algorithm, so it's, a, it's an equation, four mainstays plus me equals benefit. I mean, every time. So it's like really, what's the phrase, no-brainer? <laughs> but <laughs> it just, you know, it just comes about. And so it, it like, for even for a while, you know, I had this like, I don't want to listen to a talk. I want to do it. You know that? I, I am going to. I'm going to rest, 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 rest. <laughs> and then I realized I put on a talk, immediate recognition. Here and now, clearing itself. So what's, where's the struggle? Why would I want to do a disservice to myself and deny myself beneficial potency when I can release into it moment by moment with the simplest and most generous support in the world? So it's just, uh, it just was such a natural unfolding. And just seeing it's such a great adventure that every data stream is presenting this opportunity for great benefit. That's all that's going on. And all, um, all ideas about like what we are and our mind and where that resides. I mean, just data streams. Just ideas that, and descriptions that we've all bought into and... So we just go to our direct experience of like recognizing fundamental power to know and seeing that everything is inseparable from it. Simple. Data streams and open intelligence, inseparable. We recognize that in our own experience, moment to moment, short moments, using the other four mainstays. The other mainstays, the training, having a trainer who can support us, guide us, share their experience, say this is how it is for me and a community of people who are living it, not just philosophizing about it, but directly living it moment to moment, putting it into action. What is it when we recognize the beneficial nature of our mind? How does that look? So that's what we do in the four mainstays, not a theoretical undertaking, but getting down and real with living life, going out into life, being ourselves, being powerful beings and role modeling that for others, saying, I'm no longer a victim to my data streams. And I live an empowered life. And that's great. <laughs> and you're so welcome to find out more. And just, li and, you know, even if we're not saying that, that's what we're saying wordlessly. We're just transmitting that to people wherever we go. Like, that's what I saw for myself. I met somebody who had 
participated in a training and was relying on the four mainstays and it was like, wow, okay, I've somebody that I had known for years and I just saw the same person with total stability, complete openness, empowerment and it infectious, that's all I can say, contagious, contagious, wanting to know like what, what is that, what's happened, how can I have that because I saw in this friend, I saw something in myself, I saw my own openness, I saw my own empowerment, though I wouldn't have called it that at the time but that's what I saw. I recognized open intelligence and it was so natural to just want to find out more and then to realize that we always have been beneficial potency and just the four mainstays confirm that for us. We've always been powerful beings and we just get used to it. No longer living under ideas of disempowerment and de self-deprecation and powerful beings for the benefit of all serving ourselves, serving each other so naturally, loving, relating with open-heartedness and respect and nothing else.